Hi, this is Drew Klausner from PixelPixel.com. The next lesson is going to be about removing dust from your image. Often with old photographs, there's dust spots that show up. And I'm going to show you an example of what these look like. They're usually these white specks that show up here on the image. And you can see in this image there are a lot of them. Now there's a good tool in Photoshop to remove these quite easily and I'm going to show you how to use that. It's called the Spot Healing Brush and you find it located over here on the toolbar. It's got a band-aid um, icon and you can see if I click in the lower right hand corner there's a little black triangle and it shows me options of different tools that I can use under this tool. And the one that I want to select is called the Spot Healing Brush tool. And once I have that selected, it can work in two different ways. You see I have my brush setting here is 9. And you can see the circle that, um, of the brush size. And as I increase my circle, you can see the number over here increases. The next little part of this tool, which is very important, is this darken or lighten. And I want to have it on darken because what I want to do with these spots is take them and darken them down. Now if they were black spots on a light background, then I would want to use lighten. But in this case, I'm going to use darken. What you just do is, over here, make a copy of your background so that you're working on cleaning up a separate image from your background. It's always good to have a, a separate image to work on. And you just click on these white specks and they disappear. What's happening here is Photoshop is taking the information around these white little specks and seeing that it's surrounded by dark and it's essentially taking those the light part of whatever you've clicked on and bringing it down in value to its surrounding values. I'm also going to show you how you can use this tool and get yourself into a little bit of a mess. You can also use it can see how wonderful the tool works. And this really helps remove blemishes from your image in a very easy fashion. Now, in the hair here where there are multiple tones, I want to make my brush size smaller and be very careful in what I'm doing here. I need to increase my brush size. And you can see that didn't work so well on the hair. I'm going to probably come back to that later and show you a different tool to use for that. Now, if I compare this to the original, you can see how in just this short period of time how much I've cleaned up. Now, this is an explanation of the spot healing tool and how it works. You can even see on the face how if I'm careful I can use this to darken down these spots. Now, I don't want to use this tool anywhere close to where the image tones change radically like along this line. Watch what happens when I try to do this. It kind of smears in a weird way. So I'm going to undo that and show you a different way to remove those spots. But it's a great tool around large areas that need to, large flat tone areas. Okay, that's it for this uh, healing brush lesson, and thanks for watching.